on y'all clean, but we on Uncle Don today. Uncle Don. She was for a good time, not a long time. Okay. Yeah. Hey, we lit. Yeah. Look, I'm from England. I met the prettiest girl from my high Beautiful. <laughs> Best girl I've ever met. Gang shit, man. Never know what time it is. Shalom, all uh, praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And this lesson is going to be entitled, Beware of the Thirsty Traveler. Beware of the Thirsty Traveler, which is a garden tool. <laughs> anyway, you saw the video in the beginning. It's a shameful, uh, a shameful showing of a young woman. Basically, it's just you know just all over the place just to try to keep it you know nice i mean i'm not gonna go as far as i could go and say everything i could say why do i need to you can see it on the screen everything she's doing you know bay number one through 10 or 11 or 12 woman just being with different men you know she probably getting down with all them different dudes at least seven or eight of them you know she's getting down with i mean let's just be real and to top it all off you see her there you know at the end of the video twerking and doing whatnot so this is what babylon the great does this is what it pushes out let's just go right to the uh title to the title scripture all right and it, and it comes from ecclesiastes chapter 26 and we'll start at verse 9. it says the whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids and if you go to this video right these eyelashes and eyelids that these girls got now you can tell what they're all about, man. And it's a new trend in the fashion to have these excessively long eyelashes. Now, you don't see them really excessively long on her, but she does, she does have that proud look. She's got that proud look, and she's boldly showing all the different men she's with on social media. She, she's not even ashamed of it. She's openly being a whore. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks, proud, and eyelids. If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. And the girl can't be, she probably ain't even 25, man. And she's abusing herself through overmuch liberty. And these guys have no idea what's going on. They probably don't care. They probably don't care. It says, watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he has found a fountain and drink of every water near her. That's a hell of a scripture. Do you understand what's being said? She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he have found a fountain and drink of every water near her. By every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. And you know what that's saying. She'll sleep around, all right? She'll be standing over at the fucking sub, basically. 
you know and i've been trying to keep it more clean but honestly what why would i try to keep it clean on such a on, on such a filthy individual as this many different hands touching all on us slapping on the bottom it's just wicked man just completely goddamn wicked I mean, you know this is getting out of fucking hand it really is but you know what it is what it is let's just go right to the law damn women breaking the law left and right hey there's gonna be a recompense for all this all this behavior this is right out of the right out of the script Deuteronomy 23 and 17 right out of the law and the word script is short for scripture is what I'm saying right out of the law Deuteronomy 23 17 there should be no whore of the daughters of Israel nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel and this girl right here she's being what 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 uh the first verse said let's go Let's cross reference it. Right? Now, when you look at it, it says temple prostitute, right? Shrine prostitute. But in our, in our vernacular today, it says ESV, none of the daughters of Israel shall be a cult prostitute, and none of the sons of Israel shall be a cult prostitute, right? Now, some people may use that as a defense, but when women sleep around with multiple men, they are... um in line that whenever they bring whoredom upon their father or their families they are to be put to death let's go real quick with an example hold up let her because i've heard people try to get out of it nowhere in the scriptures was it ordained for women to have multiple partners like this this is in genesis 38 24 right now i'm gonna go real quick in verse 22 you know what I'm gonna go to verse 24 it says and it came to pass about three months after that it was told Judah saying Tamar thy daughter-in-law have played the harlot what's a harlot <laughs> and also because she is with child by whoredom and Judah said bring her forth and let her be burnt what was what was happening here the girl was pregnant and she had a husband already see but he had passed away or you know what it says let me read it again and it came to pass about three months after that it was told judah saying tamar thy daughter-in-law have played the harlot and also behold she is with child by whoredom and judah said bring her forth and let her be burnt see so women were not allowed to be sleeping around with different men as a matter of fact let's look at the word harlot right here and see what it gives us okay because her her original husband if i'm not mistaken had passed away right but she was promised to someone else or supposed to be the wife of another now it says to commit fornication be a harlot play the harlot to be a harlot act as a harlot commit fornication to commit adultery see it to commit adultery to cause to commit adultery to force into prostitution to commit fornication and adultery is a form is a form of fornication it says to commit adultery usually of the female and less often of simple fornication uh it gives a lot of different instances there okay but let's also go because look when a woman has sex with a man that's who she's supposed to be with so this woman didn't have a at the time if i'm not mistaken let's see if we can go back to the story she didn't have a husband because the husband had passed away. Come on, this thing ain't that right now. All right, here we go. So let's see here. And what I really wanted to see. Okay, that was it. She was promising somebody. It says, Genesis 38 and 11, then said Judah to Tabar, his daughter-in-law, remain a widow at thy father's house till shall allow my son be grown so she was commanded to not uh be with anybody else because she was promised to this certain certain brother but she had to wait until he until he grew up so she was betrothed to one man already a younger man right then said judah to tamar his daughter-in-law remain a widow at thy father's house till shall allow my son be grown for he said lest peradventure he die also as his brethren did and Tamar went and dwelt in her father's house. And in process of time, the daughter of Shua, Judah's wife, died. And Judah was comforted and went up into his sheep shares in Timnath. He and his friend Hira the, Ad 
the ad the adulamite okay so what wound up happening is this woman went and you know dressed herself as a harlot right and she pretended to be a harlot and then judah you know slept with her so she became pregnant but the point is there that even if it wasn't him that had done it right the point was the fact that she was supposed to wait until the uh to his son i believe it was his son was grown up and that's who she was promised to but instead what did she do she wouldn't you know got pregnant so he knew that it couldn't have been from the person she was promised to which it actually had to be him but she knew that uh he knew that it, it couldn't have been the person that she was promised to because he was not yet of age this just shows you in that story even though it don't particularly match up with this it's this instance with this young girl sleeping around with all these different people but it does show you that israelite women were were supposed to belong to one individual see now back in 24 it says and it came to pass about three months after that it was told judah saying tamar thy daughter-in-law have played the harlot and also behold she is with child by whoredom and judah said bring her forth and let her be burnt see so he had when he got with a harlot that he didn't know that it was her that's the point of the story right but the problem is this she was supposed to have been you know supposed to have been uh promised to another individual you see so for a woman to sleep around with different partners is definitely going off and it is whoredom and the punishment for whoredom is to be put to death okay as a matter of fact let's go here to show you that women belong to one man period let's get it real quick Salakia. So um women are supposed to belong to one man their whole life let's go to Romans 7 so all this Babylon the great shit where these girls are just doing all this stuff they, hey, they, they're, they're in the very act of whoredom harlotry Romans 7 verse 1 know ye not brethren for I speak to them that know the law how that the law had dominion over a man as long as he liveth see the law rules us for the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband as long as he liveth. But if the husband be dead, she is loosed from the law of her husband. So then if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from that law so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. So simply put, a woman belongs to her husband as long as he's alive. And what, what is her husband? Is a husband established by a piece of paper? No. It's established by the, 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 the literal act of sex. So when a woman becomes joined into a man in the act of sex, that's her husband. And you just know that this girl having sex with more than one of these guys. You know that. Okay? Definitely the first guy, the second guy. Right? When you see him flung money doing, you know damn well. Now, she might not be sleeping with this dude, but more than likely she is. You know she probably sleeping with this guy. Why is she calling him Bay? Bay number four. How the hell are you gonna be her bay and you ain't you ain't you ain't getting none of that? You see? And even under this these terms these people try to flip it and say, oh, a woman can do whatever she wanna do. Well, this is the thing, not according to the scriptures, you can't. You're supposed to be one man only. And even being in the company of another man is ill advised because you're gonna fall to hold him. Bottom line, you're gonna fall to hold him. And this is completely out of order. Let's just keep it scriptural and keep it moving. Um, let's go to Proverbs 30. This is Proverbs chapter 30. In uh, verse 18, it says, There be three things that are too wonderful for me, yea, four which I know not. The way of an eagle in the air, the way of a serpent upon the, a rock, the way of a ship in the midst of the sea, and the way of a man with a maid. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. So what is said being said here is she'll do the dirt, she'll do dirt and then get rid of the evidence and pretend like it's all <clears throat> like it's all good, like she ain't did nothing wrong. And I'm saying it, I'll clean it up in a nice way. Because this scripture is way more vivid. It says, Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and says, I have done no wickedness. And you know it ain't talking about food because what's wicked about eating food? Nothing. So it's, so it's talking about the act of adultery. See, she'll do dirt 
And then she'll say she ain't done no wickedness. Now, today in our time, these women will record all that stuff. They'll tell you of their conquest. You know, they'll come out with pride and being bold. And they will pretend like it's all damn good. And it's not all good. Number eight. Number nine. See? To pretend like it's perfectly normal. This ain't normal, man. This ain't normal behavior. This is Proverbs 23. I got to refresh it. Proverbs 23, 26. My son, give me thine heart and let thine eyes observe my ways. You got to put your heart into the word of the Lord. It says, for a whore is a deep ditch and a strange woman is a narrow pit. Now, and it, let me read the next verse. It says, she also lieth in wait as for a prey and increaseth the transgressors among men. Now, really, in reality, this is speaking of philosophies, okay? Right? But it, all, it does say whore. You know, a whore is a deep ditch and a strange woman is a narrow pit. What is a strange woman? It's other philosophies. You see? So it's, it's really more speaking of spiritual adultery. But it still can be applied. As a matter of fact, if you go, um, it does kind of, you know, give a, um, an indication of being twofold. But we know particularly, it says right here on life and conduct, right? Now I want to go here, sit not at all. Yeah, we have to go and get it from the uh, 1611. Just hold tight, brothers. 1611. There we go. Why does it say the J word? <clears throat> okay, let's do this. Ecclesiasticus chapter 9. Yep. See if we can't find it. Salakia. So Ecclesiastes 9, verse 9 says, sit not, sit not at all with another man's wife, nor sit down with her in thine arms, and spend not thy money with her at the wine, lest thine heart incline unto her, and so through thy desire thou fall into destruction. What does it mean? Don't even go be around another man's wife because you won't sit and, and don't don't sit with her in your arm in her in your arms, right? Don't spend no money on her at the wine. Don't be drinking together. Can we just get a little drink? Let's just get together, have some drinks. We just gonna talk. Nope, because she's gonna start trying to come on to you or, or things can happen. And you fall into destruction. What is the destruction? The destruction is when you commit adultery, man. You're gonna bring destruction on yourself. And you see her here with several men, many different guys, which is completely out of order. Sit not at all with another man's wife nor sit down with her in thine arms and spend not thy money with her at the wine, lest thine heart incline unto her, and so through desire thou fall into, temp into destruction. See? So you fall into temptation, you fall into destruction, and then you out of there. As a matter of fact, uh,
James warns you about things. People can try to say in complete ignorance all they want to. When you, uh, sin starts in your mind first, James 1 verse 13. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of the Most High. For the Most High cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin when it is finished, bringeth forth death. So see, you start, it starts out in your mind as an idea. You gotta do a whole lot before you get to the point where you were with that person, you were alone, and then something happens, man. And this right here is premeditated. She's just going from day to day, running about, being with these different guys. And these young girls see this shit on social media, and it looks like she having fun. Ooh, she, she having fun. I want to have fun like her. And the next thing you know, something bad happened, and your ass be checking out. That's why we don't feel sorry for these people when they start dropping off the planet. Now, let's go real quick and read this. We're going to start at Hosea chapter 4. And let's read through this because the Most High said it was going to be like this. It says the Most High's controversy with Israel. Hosea 4 verse 1, it says, Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. And this is back in those times. And it's, and it's the same way now. It's worse now. By swearing and lying. So like it. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, there you go, they break out and blood touches blood. Now, not only is that young girl playing the harlot, she's also committing adultery because she's supposed to belong to one guy. Even if today, you people in America, even if you say we didn't get married, we ain't go get married yet, but once a man has sex with you, that's who you with. That's the guy you're supposed to be with. But this right here is just another shameless daughter doing all kind of wickedness she got a tongue out she's not embarrassed she's not ashamed at all she's openly being wild and no one's doing anything about it as a matter of fact youtube might take this video down because we're showing it see they want to conceal things but we're bringing it on out she she showed it why are you going to try to conceal what she put out in the open for people to see don't try to conceal it it says by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery they break out and blood touches blood Therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Yet let no man strive nor reprove another, for thy people are as they that strive with the priest. And that's, and that's how the most high going, it's going to come like that again. The Lord going to tell us at some point to not reprove these Israelites anymore. They had the warning. And he said, because there are they which that strive with the priests. Just like we were doing a lesson last night on the, on the uh, BBL surgeries and stuff. And before that, you know, dealing with the rap and the rappers and whatnot. Jake always got excuses. You love to strive with the priests. Therefore shalt thou fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. And that happened. The most high cast us out of our land. Now we living all over the earth scattered and we waiting to be delivered. Lord willing, we make it. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because I has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou should be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. And the Lord did it. He changed our glory into shame. This is no longer a glorious daughter of Zion. This right here is a project hope. Okay, this is a thought, a stank hope. All right, no matter how cute she might be, no matter how young, she got a whole life ahead of her. She been through a lot. Yeah, a lot of dick. <laughs> yeah, she been through a lot, a lot of dick. <laughs> yeah, she probably like girls too. Fucking people, man, is ridiculous. And, you know, it's hard. It's a locket because I try to, you know, keep it, keep it more clean. But man, sometimes you just can't. You just, it's hard to do. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory and the shame. And the most I did, he brought you low. If you think that it's a good thing to be seen with 10 or 12 different guys and then at the end of it all, you twerking on another dude. If you think that's something special, you you are sadly mistaken. Your, fuck, your whole morals is fucked up. In your head, your cerebral cortex is completely rotten. They eat up the sin of my people and they set their heart on their iniquity. And there shall be like 
Salakia, and there shall be like people, like priests, and I will punish them for their ways and reward them for their doings. For they shall eat and not have enough, they shall commit hoarding and shall not increase, because they have left off to take heed to the Lord. And you got that in some cases now. Women that can't get pregnant, right? Different things going on. You might commit hoarding, but you shall not increase. And really, it's probably more talking about money. Even though you try to sell yourself, you're going to still wind up on the bottom. I bet you right now the damn girl probably ain't got $300 to her damn name. Because she's just a party girl, man. That's, a, that's community. That's community coochie right there. For they shall eat and not have enough. They shall commit hoarding and shall not increase. Because they have left off to take heed to the Lord. Hoarding and wine and new wine take away the heart. My people ask counsel at their stocks and their staff declareth unto them, for the spirit of whoredoms have caused them to err, and they have gone a whoring from under their power. And that's twofold, because our people do literal whoredom, right? But they also do the spiritual whoredom, asking counsel at their stocks and at their staff, which represents what? Wood, idols, gold and silver, different idols that you, that you may pray to. It says they sacrifice upon the tops of the mountains and burn incense upon the hills is idolatry under oaks and poplars and elms because the shadow thereof is good. Therefore your daughters shall commit whoredom and your spouses shall commit adultery. I will not punish your daughters when they commit whoredom nor your spouses when they commit adultery for themselves are separated with whores and they sacrifice with harlots. Therefore the people that doth not understand shall fall. And he's talking about more spiritual Spiritually, spiritual whoredom, but it's both. Because the Lord said, I will not punish your daughters when they commit whoredom, nor your spouses when they commit adultery, right? That's the physical, the, the literal whoredom and adultery. For themselves are separated with whores spiritually, and they sacrifice with harlots spiritually. Therefore, the people that does not understand shall fall. So right now, what you see going on with the house of Israel, and with the, particularly with these women, doing all these whorish acts, doing the, committing adultery, and doing whoredom, the Most High is allowing it to go on, right? Because their iniquity's got to come to the full. See, he's not. It's no longer like it was in the old days. As soon as you these acts were found out, you were put to death. No, nope, we in captivity. So now, the punishment got to come straight from the Lord. Not in in most cases, it ain't even gonna come through men. But then again, the Most High may find particular ways ways to judge these girls, these these people, not just the women, the men also. That's why you're seeing guys getting shot up. So you think that the people are innocent? They're not innocent. None of them. That's why we tell you that. We do lessons on these judgments. None of these people are innocent. I was just watching a story earlier about a 20-year-old girl. One day after her 20th birthday, she wound up riding in the car with her mom and she got shot and died on the way to the hospital. People think that when things like that happen, that girl was innocent. This girl right here probably ain't much older than 20, 21, 25. You know, she probably ain't even 25. So when, if something was to happen to her, you didn't see this video, you think, oh, she's so cute, she looks like a sweet daughter, she ain't did nothing wrong. You have no idea all the damn, the wickedness this girl been doing. Uh, that these girls need, and these guys do. These little niggas that get shot up, they be done done a lot of dirt before their ass got shot up. Don't feel sorry for these people, because they doing a lot of wickedness out there. And the, and the main point being, the Hebrew Israelites are everywhere preaching the gospel, and these people are ignoring it. So when the judgment come on them, that's on them, man. This is 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High? Because they're going to be cut off and destroyed on this side. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, which that young girl was, nor thieves, nor covetous, but she's covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High. See? See, so those people that are listed, they're not going to inherit the kingdom. They're going to be destroyed, man. Damn it, hey, Galatians 5, let's grab that. Every now and again, that does happen. Uh, this is going to be Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. And we're going to look at a couple of these words. Because I was looking them up before this lesson. This is Galatians 5, 16. There's some eye-opening things coming out of it. This I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And that's all this is. 
and you see these things like this happen, this is the lust of the flesh. And many of you desire to be like this, and many of you are like this. And the Lord is not pleased with it. He's going to destroy you. And he's got the tongue ring. You already know what that's about. You ain't going to take the time to stick a, a damn pen through your tongue and get a tongue ring. And you ain't going to never use it. Right? It says, and that's the lust of the flesh. For the, lust, for the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. But if you be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations. What's emulations? Let's look at it. That was an interesting word, emulations. It says effort to match or surpass a person or achievement, typically by imitation. See, and that's a big thing, which we say in our vernacular, keeping up with the Joneses, right? You're trying to compete with somebody. Effort to match or surpass a person or achievement, typically by imitation. And you got other girls that's going to say, I got, so what? That bitch might have 15 baby daddies, but I got all 15 different men, but I got more than that. It says, the definition of emulation, ambition or endeavor to equal or excel others as an achievement. That goes on a lot in Babylon the Great. That's what it's all this social media shit is about. See? Ambitious or envious rivalry. Obsolete. And you know that's going on all over the place. But these these are uh, these little damn uh, 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 these little demons. Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance. It's variance. Let's look at that. Variance says difference inconsistent the fact or quality of being different divergent or inconsistent uh the state or fact of disagreeing or quarreling the a discrepancy between two statements of documents that's in the law sense let's see here um we get here variance the fact quality or state of being variable or variant and really just being damn wishy-washy, man. Being wishy-washy. Right? A license to do some act contrary to the usual rule. Not in, a har not in harmony or agreement. Right? And they're at variance with the words of the Lord. They don't want to pay attention to what the Lord said to do. Now I'm curious as to what they would say here. Let's go to variance right here. Strong's G, 2054, Eris, 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 contention, strife, wrangling, wrangling, or oh, it says here, a quarrel, by implication, wrangling, contention, debate, strife, variance, you got a lot of that among the house of Israel, whenever you bring out something, they quick, they want to go against it, because it's what, it's something they want to do, now when you look at emulations over here in the Greek, what does it say for that? Heresies, emulations. Strong's G twenty two oh five, Zelos, Zelos, Zelos. And the word says, excitement of mind, ardor, fervor of spirit, zeal, ardor and embracing, pursuing, defending anything, zeal in behalf of for a personal thing, the fierceness of indignation, punitive zeal. An envious and contentious rivalry, jealousy. And I mean, it, hey, you see that all the time. That's the main thing with the nigga women. They always got a problem with one another because, uh uh, they, they, uh uh, bitch, I'm such and such. It says here, properly heat, i.e., zeal, in a favorable sense, ardor in an unfavorable one, jealousy as of a husband, or an enemy, malice, emulation. Fervent mind, indignation, envying, jealousy, zeal. And that's all that the whole culture among so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Everything is built based off of damn jealousy, man. Most of the beefs and rap is because of jealousy, which is emulations, right? All them partings and giddy and all that giddiness. All that shit is based upon emulations. It says wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders. 
drunkenness and revelings. And you go to the word revelings, that's interesting as well. Particularly when you apply it to the Israelites. The Israelites love revelings. It says, the action of participating in lively and noisy festivities, especially involving drinking and dancing. <laughs> and that's half of you damn Israelites too. Damn. They love reveling, man. They love it. They love having a fucking party. They turn the Passover into a reveling. Look at it here. Noisy, drinking, dancing, hanging out, doing all that. That's, that's, all, that's what this whole life is about. When the pandemic first hit, niggas was all messed up because they couldn't go out and do that. Here she is now reveling. Look at that. Make sure you get a shot of her butt, you know, of her booty. She said, man, this is a filthy ass place. Envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have told you in time past, that they which do such things should not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. So you know what, brothers? You have to be careful of the thirsty traveler because you can fuck around. See, a lot of the women that be on the comment boards, they're closet thirsty travelers. They'll, they'll come on the comment board and pretend like they're these righteous women. They got on the head wraps, this, that, and the other. But underneath, don't think that your boo might, be a, might not be a damn thirsty traveler, okay? Beware of the thirsty traveler. She will drink of every fountain near her, okay? And open her quiver unto every arrow. Watch out. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.